Alright guys, this is probably the best part of having an iPhone 4. If you guys do not do this and you have an iPhone 4, oh, how likely you recommend to rec how likely are you to recommend Windows 10 to a friend or colleague? Pretty damn likely Microsoft. Pretty damn likely. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to Pangu's website, which is pangu.io. Don't even ask why the hell I'm Google searching this. Should I just put it straight into the search bar? But Pangu iOS 9 Jailbreak Tool. We are just going to go on this site for now. And up here in the top right, just here, so it should say for iOS 7.1.x. Here we are. Oh my god, I remember this. Download. First ever jailbreak I did was on iOS 7.0.1, I think. Or 7.0.0, and I did it with a version. Oh my god, I remember that. Oh, download. Now we just scroll down and we click on Windows right here. Now that's downloading, so we're just going to keep show all downloads. God, I'm going to time lots of download. Oh my god, guys, it's happened. Here it is. I've not been jailbroken for ages. So I'm just going to go ahead, open up the file. Oh my god, I remember this screen. We can exit out of Chrome now. Make sure we exit out of iTunes. And we just connect our device. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my device. And my device is connected. Oh my god. Oh my god. Make sure it closes out of iTunes. And if it opens up during the jailbreak, doesn't matter, just close out. So here we are. You want to make sure you've got no passcode on your device. Oh my god, I remember this control center. Oh my god. That is so old. That is so nostalgic. I'm just going to put that down there. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to click jailbreak. Injecting bundles, please work. So, first of all, we've got a settings. Just as it says on the screen. And adjust the system date. So, we go down to general. We go into date and time. Wherever that, there we are. Turn off set automatically. And set it to 2nd of June 2014. So that is 2016 still. You need to scroll back quite a bit, but not too much. What is this? 2015. Now we're into 2014. Now we just need to wait for it to get to June. And it is the 2nd of June. So there we are. 2nd of June. Now just go home. Just like that. So I'm injecting the bundles. Please wait. Oh, there's a Pangu app. Oh my god, I remember all of this. Oh my god. Don't click anything. Injecting bundles. Processing jailbreak valve. So now you need to click on the Pangu icon, click on continue, it'll open up the Pangu app. Just processing, just wait a few minutes. Keep the device connected and do not close the app. So I just want to leave it like this. Oh my gosh guys, I can't believe it. I'm going to be jailbroken again. Processing, just wait a few minutes. It's not going to be actually a few minutes. You know, it says just in case it is a few minutes in your computer or internet or phone or whatever is really slow. Oh my god. I still can't believe this is happening.
my arm is starting to kill holding the phone up right here. I'm just gonna hold it up right there. Just rest my hand. Reboot device, do not disconnect it. Your computer may make the noise and you may think that it's disconnected, but it's actually not, it's just that the phone's turned off so it doesn't have access to its hard drive or storage or whatever you want to call it. The, my computer just made that noise. Ooh, this is the point where on like iOS 4, most people, I have actually jailbroke in iOS 4, it's just my first jailbreak. It was iOS 7.0.0 or 7.0.1. But this is the point where most people, back on iOS 4, I've actually jailbroke in iOS 4 before. And it did fail most of the time, but you just had to wait and hope that it was actually going to turn on iOS 7, iOS 8, iOS 9, hopefully the iOS 10 jailbreak, everything's just going to be fine and I know it was an iOS 7, 8 and 9 but we just need to close out of iTunes just as quick as possible, there we are and just wait until it turns on and we just unlock the device there we are and now it's just processing the jailbreak files storage almost full we can go ahead and click done it's just a glitch that happens that's how it makes um, the phone or iOS give you root access, it just does a little glitch and finds an exploit in the storage bit. The Pangu app's now gone and your phone will reboot again and it is done. I would recommend don't unplug your phone until it has actually come back on because otherwise you may risk something dodgy happening and you may lose your files and your jailbreak I've gone ahead and wiped my phone completely before even starting the jailbreak so I'm safe but make sure you back up your files just in case as I say it doesn't usually brick it it's just I've only ever been bricked on iOS 4 when I was trying to jailbreak it. iOS 7 has always been fine. I did jailbreak on iOS 8.3 and 8.4. And I did jailbreak on iOS 9.0 and 9.1. But then I went ahead and updated it to the iOS 10 beta because I thought beta is probably better because you got all these new features. But... I did actually regret that. I'm glad I've got this. I'm glad I've got the jailbreak on here. The thing is, it does take ages to boot with the iPhone 4, no matter if you're jailbroken or not. Just go ahead, close out of iTunes. <clears throat> I've actually got a croaky voice now. And it'll just sit on Pangu there. Already jailbroken once it reconnects. And here we are, just slight unlock. And there you have it, Cydia on your device. Right here, you can now unplug your device. Just as I've done there, I just unplugged. And then it'll say, prepare the file system. Just click OK. Cydia will exit when complete. Here we are, it's taken me to this screen. Just want to exit, go back on the city. Prepare and file system. City will just glitch out, just glitch out the city once it has actually installed the file system. I can't wait for an iOS 10 
jailbreak or an iOS 9 jailbreak or a new iOS 9 jailbreak, should I say? If iOS 9 is jailbroken on the newest firmware, I will actually downgrade from iOS 10 and jailbreak. So I did regret downgrading or upgrading to iOS 10. Because in the long run, it wasn't worth it. It does take quite a while to prepare the file system on Cydia. I've actually been, been recording this part of the video for nine minutes now. I will actually be making quite a few Cydia tutorials and jailbreak tweak tutorials and stuff in the future. As you can see, this is an iPhone 4. I'm not sure officially how you can distinguish between iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S, but this is the 4. Something's happened there. To get like a little. You guys might be able to see there. There. Something's happened up there. Because it's not as it should be. God, how long is this taking? There we go, it's exited and rebooted right now. It's just restarted the springboard. And now when we got a slight unlock. And open up Cydia. Loading. Still loading. And here we are, we've got Cydia on our device. We can now install tweaks, install or add sources and everything like that. So that was how to jailbreak your device on iOS 7.1.2, 7.1.0 .1 and 7.1.1. .1 .1 specifically for the iPhone 4 and now you can install tweaks or anything you want so yeah right guys thanks for watching please do comment like, rate, and subscribe i've been see you on this not saying out peace out